We have our brassicas hardening off, doing really great. This is the second round of hardening off ones. Um, it's been really windy here this week, so they're getting the protection of the greenhouse from the wind. And it's been colder at night than usual, down into the 30s even. So we've been closing it at night just to give them a little bit of a protection from that colder weather because they haven't completely finished adjusting to the outside. Now that this week is warming up and there's no low temperatures at night, this is probably their final round and we will have them out of the greenhouse and in full weather acclimation cycles this week. So pretty stoked about that because that means that it's time to get some stuff planted. This tray right here has been very well acclimated. Ooh, it looks really dried out. I need to water it today. So this one has been completely adjusted to the outdoor temperature. You can see we lost a couple during our acclimation process. During hardening off, we lost about three of the red cabbages, and it looks like maybe one of the green cabbages. So you do definitely have the potential to lose them even when you're being super careful. Oh no. Silly cilantro, you fell and got dried out. So, gotta water these today. This pile right here in my yard makes me so happy. Ryan was lucky enough to be there when the tree service was there cutting and chipping some trees and they needed a place to dump it all. So he said, I know the perfect spot and it's not far. And they were happy to come here and dump it for us. The problem now is, is we need some manpower to get this into the garden. That's the hard part of getting free mulch. Lost in the sight of you alone. Well, here these I'll go for me. And they keep stealing Autumn's good hay. So that was a bucket of her good hay alfalfa so maybe they won't steal it if i give them the hay that they already have up there that they were all just eating but if i touch it they all want it guys autumn loves to visit with you but you can't steal her alfalfa every time and why would you steal the bermuda if you already have bermuda that doesn't even make sense <laughs> autumn is kind of in the middle of the herd getting all kinds of attention, so I guess that's a good thing for her to socialize. I just have to keep coming out here and making sure she has hay that she can reach and offer her water. Because this girl, she's just silly. If you put water near her, she'll spill it. So she is a full-time job, but she is so worth it. She's doing really good in her wheelchair. I am wanting to try her wheelchair out here but the wheels are not really all-terrain wheels yet we do have some um, stroller wheels that we're looking at modifying so that her wheelchair will do better on this rough terrain so that's our next step but right now she's still just really getting used to it and getting used to her muscles adjusting to being in an upright position and you can tell her muscles are definitely trained to being in a laying position like she is now so she has a little bit of issues with controlling which direction she goes still. So she's, she's working on it though and she's using those muscles and that's the key to this physical therapy with her. Patience and virtue are doing wonderful. Don't knock me over, Dom. <laughs> Dominic just rammed into me, brushed aside. You guys are so cute. Mama's such a good mama. Kitty, you're the best. 
I love how she plays with them. She nurtures them. She's a good mom. We've got some beds started on this side where we're putting our waste hay from autumn. This is going to be our Hugo culture raised bed. So I have to get the boys to gather sticks and fill it up most of the way with sticks and then we'll layer some other compost and materials on top of that. Oh, I gotta water those. I'm so glad I just came over here to film. I'll remember to do that right now. Oh yeah, it's super light. So I've been cheating a little bit with being able to bottom water that way. <laughs> Look at it, it's loading, it's so dry. And this poor cilantro. Cilantro that I meant to plant already. I was gonna divide it up into three plants and put it in the ground. It's so dry. You see the layer of pollen on this water trough, guys? This is no joke. This is a Georgia spring. That's pollen. Pollen so thick you could eat it. And I will. Um, pine pollen is very beneficial. There's a branch that's low enough just over there above where the bees are that I'm going to try to harvest the buds off of to be able to catch the pine pollen as it releases and those pine pollen can be put into capsules and taken as a supplement. It's very good for you. As you can see, there are tons of strawberry blooms. It is gonna be so, so nice to have our own strawberry fruit here pretty soon. You can see they're already forming fruit on some of them. It's just a matter of time that I'm gonna come out here and there's just gonna be a big, beautiful strawberry ready to be picked. And of course, I'll have to let the boys pick it. They're so excited about strawberries, it's not even funny. So many strawberries. And this daffodil pack that we got has multiple. So it was a pack that was designed to bloom at different times so that we'd have a whole season of daffodils. And look at the varieties where, look at that beautiful peach color. I'm really curious to see what that one's gonna look like. Look at these multiple blooms. The daffodil, this one's got a big old bloom on it. This one's not open yet, but it looks like it's gonna have some green tinge to it. That's really cool. And look at this one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Love daffodils. Some of my favorite flowers in the whole world. We are just loving how the bulbs have brightened up this garden bed for the spring. And now we're gonna be adding some summer bulbs too. I got some dahlia and lily on sale at Aldi's. So I was super psyched about that. They were really cheap. They were like $3 or something. So I'm super excited and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Please continue watching. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. We're gonna have a huge giveaway. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, send them over. Um, and we appreciate all of the support and all of the Amazon link purchases have been very helpful to us. So we also appreciate that too. Thank you guys for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.